Yo guys, what's going on? This is Lockdown Stash. I'm Tarek. Thank you for tuning in today. So, got a quick video review today of uh, 88 Films' release of Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. Another Jackie Chan film, another Jackie Chan classic, another old school kung fu film classic. Uh, starring Jackie Chan, Yun Su Tin, and the one and only, the mighty Huang Jiang Li. Now, this film is amongst the favourite of many people close to um, it stands side by side for a lot of people with Drunken Master uh, this film is uh, written and directed and uh, choreographed by uh, Yin Wuping uh, Yin Wuping has also done uh, what well, also did um, Drunken Master so this film um, is very similar Huang Zhang Li plays the bad guy in uh, this film as well as Drunken Master. Yin Su Tin is uh, the old man, the beggar, uh, also known in Drunken Master though as Beggar So. Uh, in this film he doesn't go by that name but what this film is basically about is Huang Zhang Li is the master, the leader of the Eagle's Claw clan and the Eagle's Claw is ferocious, it's, it's a killing technique. Um, and then you have the snake fist, uh, Yun Su Tin right there is a snake fist, um, part of the snake fist clan. And the Eagles uh, Claw clan are out to take out everyone. Knows a snake fist, the Eagles Claw, they wish to just take them all out because the Eagles Claw wants to be superior, wants to be the best. So you got Jackie Chan over here, Jackie Chan's character. Uh, he's an orphan boy, gets taken in by um, a Kung Fu master and is at the school. He lives at the, the, this Kung Fu school, uh, but he gets bullied all the time. He's a cleaner, like a caretaker. He cooks for everyone, washes everyone's dishes, just gets bullied. So you see that in the film. Um, it's very typical for films that were out at that time. We always had the, the, how should I say, the poor kid who always got picked on. You know, um, you always knew he was going to be a hero. Uh, but the way the story comes about, you know, then... He wants to learn Kung Fu. They don't want to teach him. He secretly starts watching. He secretly start, you know, he, he, he picks up a few uh, bits and pieces here and there. And then he comes across the old man, Yin Su Tin. So, and he teaches him, you know, the, uh, the snake fist style. So it, you know, takes pity on him. Sees that, you know, he, the kid's got potential. He hasn't got anyone. He gets bullied, gets treated like crap, basically. But anyway, this film features some great comedy moments some great uh, kung fu action in it. Um, also, it does feature something, which before I go into it, I do not condone any animal violence or animal on animal violence, you know? Yeah, so this film, um, it did contain, when it was first released on VHS, it did contain a very memorable scene. Now, back then, it was very easy for things to pass. Uh, you know, no one really looked into it thinking, oh, that's cruel. Um, this, this, this film actually contains a scene between a cat and a cobra. A very memorable scene when I was a kid. Uh, it was awesome seeing this scene. So you see the cat fight a cobra and it, it kills the cobra. And they actually capture this whole segment. Now, as it, time went on, uh, when, it, when Snake and the Eagle Shadow it got released on DVD by Hong Kong Legends. That was the first time after a very long time that fans of the film actually got to get the, you know, had an opportunity to buy the film on DVD. Um, and then, you know, when it were watching the film, digitally remastered, original English dub, it had the Cantonese um, uh, audio track on it as well. You know, it gave some uh, special features, everything, man. So it was brilliant. It was wicked. We we're all excited about it. So watching this film, you see the uh, op you see the actual uh, scene come up where the cat's in the corner and the cobra's there. And the cat's, you know, with the cat sounds, you know, um, hissing at it, fighting it. A cobra attacking the cat and cats are dodging it. And then, you know, you see the cat just go at the cobra, basically just attacking. Um, and... When it came down to watching on DVD, you saw, okay, yeah, the scene's about to come up. But then you hear a whole load of sounds and it just literally just a few edits here and there. And the cobra is now just 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 on the floor and the cat's just there leaned up against the wall thinking, okay, oh my God, this is over. 
and that's when it was a little you know it came to a point in 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 reality where you couldn't accept um, animals being put against each other to fight to the death and uh, yeah back then it, no one really cared no one did care it was easy to pass these things uh, whenever they would film them you know um, uh, release them on VHS there wasn't you know animal rights um, no one really paid attention to it so that was one of the things when it was released on DVD that it, it was cut so actually in this um, version of the film it is the same it does not contain that um, element in it I think it would have been actually quite good if maybe in the special features if there was a possibility of containing that scene for people to see and to actually understand what it was like and how these films were you know filmed and shot released um, or you know just give it some deleted scenes uh, maybe it would have affected sales people who aren't uh, familiar with the film itself and then they see that in the deleted scenes but you could always put a disclaimer before it now you know and uh, it would have been cool to have that anyway so we're going to talk about the actual DVD itself, so sorry to bore you with all of that. you got the DVD there, so once again, Kung Fu Bob O'Brien, he's doing his work every time. And in my personal opinion, I think this is my favourite cover. This is definitely my favourite cover of his. Um, you know, I can't go on about it enough. I mean, look how, look how ferocious that is. These are moments from the film once again. So that's the slip cover same same thing over there so once when you open the cover usually a lot of the times uh, these releases by 88 films they have a reversible sleeve on it so you got the disc art which is similar to the front over there then you take out the sleeve so you got Kung Fu Bob his art over there and then you have the original side of the sleeve that was released when the film was actually released I do remember that cover I do remember this cover on the VHS uh, when they were released here in the UK. But uh, because I really like this Kung Fu Bob uh, cover, I'm going to keep my one like this. I mean, yeah, you've got the slip cover where you can have a different cover underneath and it's on top. I might just change it around. Um, but once again, you've got lobby cards. Lobby cards, like I've said in my other videos, they're, they're, they're film stills put onto like these postcard size um, pieces of card basically so just some moments from the film there on the back snake and the eagle shadow once again so this is this is a little um, uh, confusing here because this scene that you see here is actually from drunken master on this lobby card and I think these lobby cards they actually to show you that um, they've worked together before, Jackie Chan and Yin Su Tin. Um, and then these two scenes are actually from Snake and Eagle Shadow. So these are all scenes from Snake and Eagle Shadow. And just like this one as well. I really like that one. That's a really good one. And just with all of their previous releases, uh, or any of the ones I should say that I've actually reviewed on here, and again, that that Kung Fu Bob O'Brien artwork is sweet. I, I I'll have to put this one up. And the thing is, it's really good because it's actually a good size for something um, for this poster. Some of the other ones are quite big. I've actually got a frame over here. Which I reckon that I reckon that looks. That looks really cool, man. The whiteboard on this frame, that fits really well. So yeah, that, I am, I am loving that. Right, so to talk about the features of the actual film itself. So it's got the original English dub. It's got two different soundtracks. It's got Cantonese and Mandarin sound soundtracks in it as well. You've actually got, so I'm going to read off the back again because it's always a paragraph with these 88 films <laughs> uh, Blu-ray releases. So uh, Cantonese mono, Mandarin mono, classic English dub, which I always look for. You guys know me. 
you've watched my other videos, classic English dub is always the one. So newly remastered English subtitles, uh, new audio commentary by Asian cinema experts, Mike Leader, Big Mike, big up um, to Big Mike there. Audio commentary by actor, stuntman, John Craig, um, uh, Kung Fu Bob O'Brien as well. Interview with uh, Roy Horan, Out of the Shadows, Hong Kong film expert and director, George Clark, US opening credits, reconstructed Chinese opening credits, uh, original Hong Kong trailer with English subtitles, English trailer, US trailer, reversible sleeve with new artwork from RP Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. I saw this first on Kung Fu Bob O'Brien's Facebook page where he said it's coming out, he's done the artwork and it's very limited. I think they're only going to be selling this up until the end of this year and I had to place a pre-order on this. I think it was $12.99. I mean, sometimes when I see these films being being released and they're up for pre-order, I just pre-order it and I, I, I just want the film, man. Um, I mean, you guys could tell how passionate I am about these films. Sometimes I want to cry with, yeah, with how much I love these films. You know, these films, they do have a special place. That's why, thankfully, I mean, oh man, I don't know what uh, us Hong Kong fans would do without 88 films bringing their Asian collection um, or, you know, line of films out. Um, I'm so grateful to them. Thank you so much, 88 Films. But anyway, I'm just going to say, man, if you don't know, now you know. Snake and the Eagle Shadow, get yourself this film. It is only going to be limited. I believe that it was what Kung Fu Bob said. He goes, it's literally, this is going to be going up until the end of this year. And you think, oh man, end of this year, I've got plenty of time. You know what? Limited release. Get yourself this film. I mean it. Get yourself this film. Uh, but yeah, that's that for today. That's Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, before I go, um, I do have a competition going on my Instagram page, um, which is called Lockdown Stash. Uh, I'll put the link in this video just underneath. And um, if you guys, you know, watch this video, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Just supporting the channel. It gives me a lot of encouragement. Uh, but yeah, uh, check it out. I'm actually giving away a brand new sealed copy of this film. All you have to do, guys, is literally click on the link to the Instagram page, like this video, leave a comment on the video, you know, and just let me know uh, what's your favorite Jackie Chan film and why. Um, it could be anything. Don't be ashamed. Don't if you if you don't know these uh, old school Jackie Chan films and you're only familiar with some of the newer ones that were released. It doesn't matter. Just what's your favorite Jackie Chan film and why? I really want to know. I want to get to know you guys, and I can't wait to see. Uh, leave a comment down there so I know who you are, so I can enter you into the draw. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Until next time, peace.